more reflecting lately on, on marriage because I've had a lot of weddings that I've done this summer. And uh, actually also I've been involved in this marriage counseling. And I just wanted to say a word too about marriage. I think some of us get the idea as we get married and we're in the midst of a marriage that this is really about me. It's about my feelings, the way that, uh, the way that, uh, that I want to uh, have my needs met. Forget the purpose of marriage. It's really not about that. It's the purpose of marriage, as Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 5, is to be a reflection of the relationship between Christ and his friend, uh, the church, and that, that we're to reflect that. And so I want to encourage you to do something. Maybe you want to respond back to the blog if you want to about uh, marriage as a reflection of the relationship between Christ and his church. And maybe some practical things that you've got your marriage and you guys practice in, uh, in reflecting that relationship and what that looks like and uh, how you try to live that out. For example, um, forgiveness. Um, we would not be in a relationship with Christ if not for the forgiveness that He provides us. And so, in a marriage relationship, a healthy Christian marriage relationship, we demonstrate that by forgiving one another because we experience Christ's grace. Uh, so, what, what other ways 